Hello and welcome to Bob's Programming Academy. In this video, we present an image classification app built using Django, Next.js and Material UI. The app uses Inception ResNet version 2 to classify images selected by the user. Inception ResNet version 2 is a convolutional neural network created by Google and trained on more than a million images from the ImageNet database. So how does this application work? First, select an image for classification and drag and drop it into the provided drop zone in the browser. Once the image has been loaded, you will see the name of the image file listed under the drop zone. Next, send the selected image to the machine learning model for classification by pressing the send image button. Once you have sent the image to the machine learning model, the model classifies the image and the result of the classification is then printed on the screen. The model is correct, it is definitely a beagle in the selected picture. Let's try another one. Press the classify again button. This time we select a sports car. We send the selected image to the machine learning model for classification by pressing the send image button. The model is correct again. Indeed, it is a sports car in the selected picture. To get access to this project, go to the project's GitHub repository. You can find the link in the description section below. Next, press the download zip button to download the code. Once you have downloaded and unzipped the project, open it in Visual Studio Code or some other code editor of your choice. First, create a virtual environment in the backend folder. To create a virtual environment, open the terminal and from the root directory run cd backend double ampersand python dash m venv venv. Next, activate the virtual environment by running the command source venv forward slash bin forward slash activate. Next, install Python packages listed in the requirements.txt file that are required for the backend part of the app. pip install -r requirements.txt. Next, run migrations. Python manage.py make migrations. Python manage.py migrate. You also need to install all the dependencies required for the front end part, so click on the split terminal and in the second window from the root directory run cd frontend double ampersand npm install To run the application, you need to have both the backend and the frontend up and running. In one terminal window from the backend directory, run the command python manage.py run server. This command starts a lightweight development web server on your local machine. By default, the server runs on port 8000 on the IP address 127.0.0.1. In the other terminal window from the front end directory, run npm run dev. This command will start the development server. Go to the URL http localhost 3000 to view the application.
That's it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.